And Hugh, last question on abortion. Uh, I spend lots of time talking to Republicans on Capitol Hill, Republican campaign operatives as well. Um, and they say that now this is back with the states where it should be so that the people can decide um, and pe uh, the freedom to make their own choice of what the state law should be. What about the counter argument to that, that the freedom should actually be allowing a woman to make a choice with, uh, about what they want to do without any sort of government intervention. Yeah, well, Leanne, I get that question a lot from law students, and I always answer it this way. This is a legal issue, not an ethical issue as a journalist. The law here was distorted by the court in 1973, was restored to what it ought to have been in 2022. And what we will see come through this process is a balancing of interests, which legislatures are uniquely capable of doing. And I believe they ought to do it because New York is very, very different from Ohio, which is very, very different from Kansas, which both had overturned, uh, initiatives had overturning restrictive abortion laws. We will get to, we will settle over the course of 10 years, but it's an abject lesson in why courts ought not to legislate because what they stopped in 73 was the gradual evolution of abortion and reproductive rights laws in the United States. And I wish that had happened for 50 years, but we are starting it now. 